guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over how to make the knockout text in Inkscape. Now this is what you will use to make the super popular mom shirts. It also makes a really great wedding gift if you put something like love and the couple's names, all kinds of really great applications for this. But the mom shirt is the most popular design request for this time of year I think and this is going to go over how to create that in Inkscape. If you do not have Inkscape and you want to create this in Design Space, Holly Monstella has a really great tutorial on that as well on her YouTube channel and you should definitely go check it out. So let's get started so you can make this cool thing but with your children's names. So because we are going to be using some offset functions, we're going to come up here and turn snapping off. It's a great tool, it's just not for what we're doing today. You're going to want to make sure that you have two fonts on deck. You want a really great print font that is nice and well built. I personally prefer Georgia, however, Impact is another really popular one. Some people use Times New Roman, whatever you really want to use. And then you're going to want to have your inside font, your little font, which a lot of people use the I Love Glitter font because it has the cute hearts and swashes. Some people like to use Babette, which is a super cute one as well. There's really all kinds of choices you can make. It's really going to be up to you. Today I'm going to use Georgia and I Love Glitter. So we're going to type out our print section, which we're going to do mom today. And it is set to I Love Glitter, so we're going to change that to Georgia. Bloop. Now you can change your font size any way you want. You can come up here or you can just drag it out. I personally prefer to drag it out with the cursor tool right up here. We're just going to drag it out, drag it, get it big. And we're just going to leave him right there. We're going to come back to this black A. And now we're going to type out kids names. I'm going to use a really good friend's kids names. Uh, I love glitter has gliss. In the font, you don't actually have to use a character map. You can use your asterisk key, your vertical bar key, which is found usually right above your enter key by your number pad or on your right side of your keyboard. You can also use your um, underscore for the hollow heart. And then for your basic swatches, you're going to use your bracket keys. All of those are just keyed in, they're very easy to use, and they really kind of add something special. So what we're going to use is asterisk, Bryce, and then um, let's do solid hearts. So we're going to use vertical bar, Cooper, vertical bar, Kale, and then another asterisk to kind of close it out. That gives us cute little names, cute little solid hearts, and then an end heart. I personally don't like end swashes. However, they're super popular and people love them. So if you want to do those, that's totally okay. You can make this design go a million different ways and they're all great. They're all going to be smash hits. These are such a great money maker. So we're going to come back up here to our cursor tool. You hear my cat. <laughs> Drag it out to make it bigger. Oh, he's getting mad. <laughs> and now we're just going to convert both of these to uh, paths to make sure we can get to the next steps. We're going to click your text over here in the objects panel or right here too. That's perfectly fine. If you are looking for your objects panel, it is usually up here in the toolbar. However, some people have said that they had to find it all in the file. Uh, file set menu right up here. Mine is up here in objects and I just select this first item and it gives you this panel. It's pretty nifty, it's pretty helpful. So make sure you have a text layer selected, select path, object to path, come back over here to the objects panel, click ungroup, and then come back up to path and select union. This creates one solid unit SVG. If that makes sense it's one solid path even if it's one separate word with letters that don't connect it's just really helpful for what we need to be able to do in a, in a couple steps now down here 
same thing. Make sure you have your text layer selected. Select path, object to path. Come back over here, ungroup. I use, I just right click to get there and then path union. These are the same steps both ways. It's not particularly hard. It's just really nifty to be able to ungroup and unionize them to make them one path. So we are going to make sure we have snapping off one more time and we're going to offset the cursive. Go up to path, length offset, drag up just a little bit. You don't really want a big one for this. I personally make my offset just slightly off white so that I can see it just because that's helpful. Come back up here to your cursor tool, select all, select both layers of the offset cursive and move it where you want it to be in your word. Inkscape does have align capabilities if you wanted to use them. They are in the object menu in align and distribute. You would just select everything and I generally do the center on horizontal and center on vertical. That puts you right in the middle. But you don't have to do this. You can definitely eyeball it if you want to. Once you have everything kind of positioned right, you're going to click on your black cursive lettering. Come back over here to the object panel and select this little eyeball to turn it off. We don't want to mess with that right now. Drag a selection box around the whole thing. Make sure both are selected, the slightly gray offset and the black mom wording. Come back up to path, select difference. Difference is one of the many types of slice-like tools in Inkscape. This one is what we would use for knockouts. It, the gray vanishes. It's not in our object menu anymore. It's not anything that's going to do anything. It's gone. It just cuts out the black in the mom. Turn your eyeball back on for this. And there you have it. A perfectly spaced, perfectly clean knockout design. Now, when you would want to upload this to design space, you will just put save as, use an Inkscape SVG, name it, whatever you want to name it, and it'll pop up into design space once you upload it and it'll be ungrouped and everything will be able to move things around. You won't necessarily have to if you don't want to. You'll be able to change colors or whatever else you're wanting to do. It's perfectly spaced, perfectly even and clean. I prefer the way that these look. I think they're very cute. I think they're pretty great and they're a really popular design for this time of year. I know that some people are already starting on their Mother's Day ads and things like that and I think this will really help. So let me know in the comments below what you think, if this works for you, if it doesn't work for you, if you have questions, let me know and I'm always available to help. Thanks guys. Make sure to thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications when I post and have a nice day.